If you're taking the MCAT in 2026, you've probably heard that Psych Soch is now CARS 2.0. And that scares a lot of students because CARS is historically the hardest section on the MCAT for most students. And so I want to talk about this a little bit because I took my MCAT back in like 2021. And so obviously I'm not as up to date on trends and things like that as you guys are. But the most representative sort of tests that you can take are the AAMC practice exams. And I just went through my half of the AAMC 6, the brand new one that just dropped. And I have some opinions on the psych social section. If you guys are new here, my name is Maggie. I'm a fourth year med student and I was a professional MCAT tutor before I went to med school. Now I run this company and this channel with my brother, John, and together we have helped thousands of students to reach their goal score on the MCAT and to get into med school. And we'd love to help you too. Check out the link in the description below for all the things that we offer on our website. So just like baseline, do I think that psych Soch is CARS 2.0? I mean, it's not entirely wrong, but I think it's really giving students the wrong idea. So I'm gonna talk about why people think that and how you can actually just study for psych social to get a high score. In CARS, obviously you get this long passage, much longer than the psych social section, and you are asked to analyze what you're given, infer things from the passage, evaluate the author's intentions, the author's feelings about things, etc. And you're not supposed to bring in any outside information. It is purely logic and reasoning and can you get the main idea out of a large block of text in a short amount of time. The CP and the BB sections of the MCAT are totally opposite, right? You're not supposed to get the main idea out of this block of text that you're given. You're supposed to get experimental design and you know follow relationships in the passage. You're supposed to pull basic sciences that you're supposed to know from undergrad and apply those to a new scenario. Psychosoc is somewhere in the middle. It's not chock full with all of these proteins and units and all these kinds of things. It's more narrative. So that makes it look more like cars. The moral of the story is psych Soch is still largely about science and experiments. In fact, psych Soch is where they test most of like research experiment, like research methods, research design, those types of questions come out in the psych Soch section a lot more than they do in CPRBB. And at the end of the day, these, these psych Soch passages are really just like shorter narrative versions that are gonna punch you questions about all these things, all these terms that you have to come in knowing. So you have to bring in that outside information. It's totally different from cars in that way. So I think it's called CARS 2.0 because it is testing your ability to sort of reason about unfamiliar social science stuff, but you have to come in knowing all, the, all those terms. The thing that I always say about psych Soch is that all of the content on the MCAT for all the science section is a mile wide and an inch deep, but psych Soch, it feels like five miles wide and like half an inch deep. And you do have to like memorize the definitions of a lot more terms, but it's not necessarily memorizing definitions so much as it is picking them up when they are explained in a real life scenario. So my, my advice to students is to always come up with a real life scenario when you're learning the terms, especially when you're trying to come up with the difference between role conflict and role strain, for example. Like those are very similar, but the, the psych soch section of the MCAT makes you split those hairs every time they ask about it. Every time they ask about one of those, both of them are gonna be answer choices and you have to know the difference. So just go ahead and come up with a real life scenario or some mnemonic or what to memorize those small differences. And at the end of the day, guys, I, t I just took m like most of the AAMC six. Is the psych soch section is not different than it has been for the past five years. Everybody loves to get on Reddit and say that the year that they're taking the MCAT is harder than all the other years. I have been looking at the MCAT for five years, six years now. Psych Soch has always been this way. It's the passages are not longer. They're not harder. They're not more narrative. They're not more like cars. They're all, they've been this way the whole time. And at the end of the day, I'll pop up right here. The AAMC like score breakdowns that students get. Psych Soch, as you can see at the bottom, is like so negatively skewed. Most students score much better on Psych Soch than they do on CARS or any of the other sections. So I know most people don't come to our channel like 
wondering about psych social or how to do things with psych social, but I just wanted to, like, I don't know. I think people just like to sensationalize it and say like, oh, but now psych social is gonna be hard, but really it's not. It's gonna be the same as it's always been. So if you've been studying for a few months and you're afraid that it's gonna be different on your MCAT, it's probably not going to be. If you have any more questions about psych social or the AMC6 or whatever, drop a comment below. Make sure to hit like and subscribe on this channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.